Classificação 12 anos. Hello everyone, it's Ryozo Sujimoto from Capcom. I'm here again today with these two gentlemen to bring you the latest updates. Let's start off with introductions before we dive in. Hello everybody, I'm Kaname Fujioka, Executive Director and Art Director on Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Nice to be here again. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Iceborne's Director, Ichihara Daisuke. A pleasure as always. The viewers might have noticed, but today we're shooting this developer's diary from my room. That's because our first title update features the ability to invite other players to your room. So we figured what better place to talk about this update than right here in mine. Yeah, thank you for the invitation. It looks nice. Thanks. I was thinking about giving the place a makeover. Oh, really? Yeah. I tried using some of the decor we'll have ready for the first title update. So, check it out. Wow. wow. I like what you've done with the place. It's cute. You think people will recognize it as my room? Well, the pastel colors do suit you. For sure, it has Rioso written all over it. Starting with the first title update, we're adding a lot of new decor, some of which is paid content. We're eager to see what kind of decoration ideas that players come up with. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the updates. I'm sure many players are already aware, but we have an immense and ferocious monster ready for our first title update. Let's take a look at the trailer. Business is about to pick up. The centerpiece of our first title update is Ra Jong. Let's kick things off there. In Iceborne, just like in World, special assignments will start popping up. Once you meet certain conditions in the game, some characters will give you these special assignments when you speak with them. Take on these quests and you'll be able to battle Ra Jong. Ra Jong is a monster that first appeared in Monster Hunter 2. It's an ultra-aggressive creature that creates absolute chaos whenever it shows up. For Iceborne, we made sure to give Rajang a significant visual upgrade and detailed touches to make it feel like a living creature. Its arms are gigantic and incredibly powerful. If you're not careful, one hit can put you in a world of hurt. What's more, when Rajang becomes enraged, it transforms into a golden ball of unstoppable fury. Rajang's arms become rock solid and even stronger when it goes into rampage mode, making it an incredibly dangerous foe. But Rajang is an intelligent fighter. When it's in a normal state, it won't fall into pitfall traps. And when it enters rampage mode, it gains the ability to destroy shock traps. In order to win, players will need to come up with a solid game plan while keeping track of Rajang's behavior. We also gave Rajang some additional moves. These will be sure to challenge even veteran hunters. You definitely shouldn't take Rajang lightly. Rajang's equipment is also popular among fans, so let's give everyone a glimpse of that. Like we just explained, Rajang turns gold when angry. When it comes to its armor, that golden fur along with black fabric make a great contrast. With that as the base concept, we added a kabuki-like flair to the design. As far as the armor skills go, they're in line with what the monster represents. It's an aggressive monster that attacks with fury, so its armor is loaded with offensive-oriented skills. Rajang's weapons are pretty distinct, so the armor will have skills that promote synergy with these weapons. 
Let's shift our focus now to the Guiding Lands. The Guiding Lands is a new locale that players will discover after finishing the story of Iceborne. This exceptional area features arid landscapes that resemble the Wildspire Waste, vivid forests like those found in the ancient forest, unique life and plateaus like in the Coral Highlands, and a deep, dark area like the Rotten Vale. It's an incredibly vast locale that houses a variety of biomes. What kind of gameplay can we expect? Each region found in the Guiding Lands has its own region level. By investigating and hunting monsters found in a specific region, players can raise the region level of that location. Once you've raised the region level to a certain point, you'll encounter monsters that appear only in the Guiding Lands. Zinogre's one of those monsters. That's right. Zinogre will start appearing in the Guiding Lands once you investigate its whereabouts. Furthermore, each player possesses their own individual region level data, which means one player's combinations may differ from those of others. If there's a certain monster you want to hunt, you can join a Guiding Lands expedition that has the appropriate level. And by collecting tracks, you can get that monster to pop up as an investigation. That's the basic gameplay loop for the Guiding Lands. We touched upon the fact that some monsters can be found only in the Guiding Lands, but you can also find materials there to expand your weapon customization. Customizing your weapon will not only affect its performance, but also change its appearance. With this new feature, players will be able to build a weapon that suits their playstyle the best. So, we got a lot of honest feedback from players about the Guiding Lands, and we're currently thinking about ways to make it easier and more enjoyable to play. Apologies to those of you playing the current version, but we're working on some improvements to create a better experience. We hope to have more info later. With our first free update, we're adding a brand new region to the Guiding Lands. This time, we're adding a volcanic region to the locale. This region is unlocked once you start the special assignment to take down Rajan. That's right. By investigating this new volcanic region, monsters that have adapted to the region's harsh heat will begin to appear in this part of the Guiding Lands. This new region will give players another fun option to explore in the Guiding Lands. The more you hunt, the higher the level, and the stronger the monsters become. Special materials found only in this new region of the Guiding Lands can be used for custom weapon upgrades too. We hope you'll give it a try. For the first title update, we racked our brains about what new features we could introduce with the Guiding Lands. We decided to bring back some of the armor from Monster Hunter World as layered armor. In Iceborne, you can now craft layered armor right at the smithy, and we've added a new lineup for you to craft. To craft this layered armor, first you'll need to gather the necessary materials from the Guiding Lands. Now, let's talk a bit more about the monsters. In Iceborne, tempered versions of Gold Rathian and Silver Rathalos have yet to appear, but now they're going to show up in a big way. Starting with this update, you'll now be able to hunt tempered versions of these deadly creatures. I'll let Ichihara-san explain how to find them. Gold Rathian can be found in the Wildspire region of the Guiding Lands, once you raise the region level to a certain point. As for Silver Rathalos, he will appear after players investigate the coral region of the Guiding Lands. What are the rewards like? All I can say is that they'll be handsomely rewarded. They're quite a challenge, right? That's putting it lightly. They're really something. Get ready to take a beating. <laughs> Get prepared, everyone. With this title update, you'll be able to invite other players into your room in Celiana. We'd like to give everyone a rundown of how this works. Right now, we're in my customized room. Yeah, it's uh, 
I don't know how to put it. Fancy, I guess? Lively? Well, now that we're able to visit everyone's room in Iceborne, I have a good idea. Maybe we can stop by your room. Wait, mine? Can we? Uh, no. Well, we're going anyway. Hang on, everyone, while we prepare to head off. You ready to go, guys? I guess so. All right, off we go. Blast off! And touchdown! And now we're in Fujioka-san's room. Yes, welcome to my humble abode. Nice music. I think so, too. We added a music player to the second floor, besides your room's entrance. You can interact with it to select songs from a playlist, or you can talk to your housekeeper. Either method works. Interesting. We also added a number of songs for players to enjoy, right? Yeah, that's right. We're thinking of adding other songs in future updates as well. That reminds me, Fujioka-san, you keep tons of figures on your desk, right? <laughs> 20 years of figures there. <laughs> but you like those figures, right? Oh yeah, I love them. You have a cool figure in your room too. Yeah, this great Jagras is actually a special piece of decor. You can place these monster figures in your room. The Great Jagras figure will be available as free add-on content to all players. In the heat of battle, it's tough to get a good look at how detailed these monsters are. By making these monsters into figures, you can really see how much work went into them. Players will surely discover new features about their favorite monsters. Fujioka-san also has some equipment here. Yeah, that's a fine set of armor you have on display. Yep, you like it? So you can display equipment too? That's right. We have a new piece of decor that can display your equipment. You can show off the equipment you're wearing or select some from any of your loadouts. You can now set up private rooms as well, right? Correct. By default, your room will be accessible to players in your current online session. Fellow hunters can visit your room anytime, but sometimes you just want privacy, right? If you're one of those people, you can set up a password to lock your room and add it to your invite. So just keep in mind that you may not be able to barge into anyone's room uninvited. We should mention that some of the decor you see in this video is paid content, but of course, we'll offer free content that'll be available to all players. We hope that you'll claim these neat little bonuses and do some redecorating of your own. Our official site will have information on what kind of decor you can expect, so please check it out. And now, we'd like to present everyone with a roadmap of what's in store for Iceborne until the end of this year. The first title update is scheduled for release on Thursday, October 10th. The main focus of this update will be the classic monster that we just talked about, Rajan. Additionally, the volcanic region of the Guiding Lands will become available. Other features include the ability to invite other players to your room and new room decor, including a music player. The second update is scheduled for November. This will contain a special collaboration which was announced earlier. The winning entries of our Weapon and Palico Equipment Design Contest will also be included and can be crafted via a special quest. Details on when that's available will be revealed at a later date. For PlayStation 4 players, we have a special Horizon Zero Dawn, the Frozen Wilds collaboration. This collaboration is going to span a couple of releases, so let's touch upon that quickly. Good idea. First, in November, there will be a quest to craft a light bowgun fashioned after the Storm Slinger found in Horizon Zero Dawn The Frozen Wilds. A special pedant will also become accessible. Following that, in the December update, a full armor set fashioned after the Shield Weaver armor found in Horizon Zero Dawn will become available. There will also be quests available to craft new Palico equipment and to upgrade the Storm Slinger. If you upgrade the Storm Slinger, you'll gain access to an exclusive weapon action, so make sure to upgrade when you can. Also included in the December update will be a quest that'll allow you to craft the new Banuk armor set. This quest will let you upgrade bow and the feline watcher equipment that were available in World. So make sure to give it a shot. We'll have more information about this special collaboration closer to its release, so stay tuned. 
Next up is the update scheduled for December, which we briefly touched on just now. This December update will be free to all players and will include a new monster. What monster is it? Well, you'll just have to wait until we reveal more details. Also, the seasonal Astera Fest you may remember from World is coming back for Iceborne. Both the Astera and Celiana Gathering Hubs will get a special makeover for these events. That's all the information we have to share with you about this year's upcoming plans for Iceborne. We'll touch upon our plans for 2020 as soon as we can divulge more information. So we hope you'll stick around and keep playing. Thanks for watching, everyone. It's about time for us to wrap things up here, so we'll leave you with our usual parting words. Ready? Happy hunting!